The Transitional Justice Bill was passed by the legislature yesterday, and many are wondering about the fate of schools and streets with names referring to Chiang Kai-shek, such as Songzhen. But Cabinet spokesperson Xu Guoyang said today that the government will focus first on getting to the bottom of historical truths. The entire country is intrigued by what possible changes the passage of the act promoting transitional justice might bring. Taiwan will never again have a political party that bears the burden of authoritarian rule, and the people of this country will never again hate one another due to painful memories of the past. The ruling party has complete control over nominating candidates for the Transitional Justice Committee, which clearly violates the Constitution. The KMT will ask for a constitutional interpretation to safeguard the nation's constitutional democracy. The Transitional Justice Law mentions the removal of symbols of Taiwan's authoritarian era from public buildings, which has struck a nerve with the KMT. Taiwan has 34 schools with names that refer to the late former president, Chiang Kai-shek, and there are also many statues of him in streets named after him. What will happen to them? Local governments will first consider definitions outlined by the Transitional Justice Committee and then implement the bill through their self-governance articles. Related issues will be carried out according to investigations and decisions made by the Transitional Justice Committee. With worries over possible changes in road names gaining steam, the executive UN sought to divert attention to what it sees as the legislation's main purpose. The main point of the restoration of history involves things like files and information. That's the main focus. Presidential office spokesman Sidney Lin also tried to ease concern, saying the goal of transitional justice is reconciliation, not creating hostility.